Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Seek and Destroy stream. And actually, we're going to do one more bonus episode tonight. This will be just a little something for fun. It might be only five, ten minutes long, but it's called Battle Mode. Uh, Joe, after work, made himself known. He popped in the chat and said, love y'all, have a good night, like right at the end. I didn't know he was in here lurking. Um, so since Joe's hanging out, we'll just play one round of Battle Mode, and uh, we'll see what it's all about. I have no idea what this mode is, so it'll be... Interesting to play it. Let's do Chris because he's just my favorite character. No hate against Claire, but let's just let's just dive in as Chris. Um, oh wow, a first person and a third person. Well, you know what? I'm all down for some really bad pixelated uh, first person zombie shooting, and uh, so let's get into it. I really don't know why people complain so much about Resident Evil Seven being a first person when there were a couple of instances where Resident Evil was in first person before the game came out. Whoa. Oh, we have unlimited... Wow, unlimited ammo? How did we get unlimited ammo? Doesn't even seem fair. Do we really have unlimited ammo? Did we do... We got a D-ranking. How did we unlock unlimited ammo? Survivor 1 is my guilty pleasure after last year. Oh, I love Survivor. Wait, where the hell are we? Oops, that hurt. Oh, look at that. We pulled a Deadpool. We got three shots in one. Uh, why are we... I don't understand. Oh, shit. Why are we, um... I don't get it. Why are... Why are we here? I feel like this is not where we should be. Right? Like, that door we went through did... Uh, we went upstairs. How did we come out over here? Shouldn't we see the axe on the other side of it? Oh my god! Well, I have unlimited ammo is really nice. Okay. Wow. Well, this is not hard, luckily, because we got a unlimited magnum, which is amazing. Oh, shit. Wow, and we're like, we're now in the Arctic. Like, so what, I guess the maps aren't, uh, these are just random rooms they throw you in? I approve of unlimited ammo. Yeah, me too, but... Could you imagine? This would have sucked without unlimited ammo. But I don't know how we unlocked it. How did we get unlimited ammo? Whoa! We're in freaking danger already? When did we go on caution? Now we're on caution. Just that good, homie. <laughs> I, I don't know. It might be that. I wonder if it's that gold luger. Because we found that. We saw that optional puzzle and got the gold luger. Like, it kept auto-locking on that fucking case over there. 
That sucked. And we, now we weren't even on... Oh, that sucks so bad. This game sucks sometimes. Yeah, the auto lock feature is... I wish it was optional. But whenever you're near something that you can lock onto, it automatically aims at it and it's like, oh, come on. I don't know if first person was a good idea. <laughs> uh... Try this door. Well, thanks for being here, Joe. Thanks for letting me do a bonus episode tonight. See, this is like not good. Like being that close. Yeah, that was a. Uh, that bonus episode, though. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got to test this out. I don't know if I've ever played this. I certainly don't remember uh, uh, rooms just alternating. Let's see if there's any health over here. I don't remember this at all. Yeah, dude, I, I have no idea what this is. I must defeat the monster. Oh, that that thing. Okay. Yeah, so they make you fight every. They make you kill everything, huh? It's like I'm not even pulling out the shoddy. What's the point? I have unlimited ammo. That's so great. Is six minutes good? I mean, I don't know. I feel like that's... I feel like we're making good time. Certainly making better time than if we had, a uh, Not unlimited ammo. Oh, jeez. Seems legit to me. <laughs> You're too legit to quit, you know that, Joe? I don't know if anyone's ever told you that before, but it's the truth. The geography's throwing me off. I'm like, how are we in this room? Legit to quit. Hey, hey. Alright, so now we can finally get on, hopefully, back to fine health with this. Alright, good. Oh, shit. Poisoned, aren't we? Whew. Wow, that was that sucked. <laughs> I hate that, like when they run that fast, like you can't. It auto locks to where they were, and then it's gone after that. Uh, you lose that auto. You lose that lock. I love killing two zombies at once, uh, and sometimes three. That's the real deal. Holy crap, they put you, like, right there. Say what? Yeah, 
We just gotta go out that door. Wait, that means something's over here, right? Health or anything? Bullets? No? Okay. No, you just gotta kill all the monsters. That's right, you can't leave the room until you kill everything. Hey, Echo. <laughs> Forgot some of these guys have explodey explodies on them. Okay. This is kind of a fun little bonus episode, man. I have a feeling we're gonna die, though. At some point, we gotta die. Is that a health spray? Yeah, we gotta go on this side to get it, don't we? Feels weird playing in first person, I will say that. <laughs> but, uh... I'm glad we chose first person. This is... It, uh, it adds a frustrating element, but it also makes it a little fun. It's just good to see this game, like... A version of this game? Whoa! That's fine. I can handle caution. Oh shit. Wait, maybe not. Okay. She takes a lot of hits, huh? These are magnum rounds, too. Oh shit. We speed around the crap out of this game. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is, did we make good time? Are we making good time? Oh, sweet! Do we need to heal? Do we get the big gun? Shit. Alright, we can probably handle one more of those. Messing around. I don't know how to shoot her. Are we, are we even hitting her? Oh, we are hitting her. Sweet. Whoa, dude. What was that, like 12, 13 minutes? That's a good link for a bonus episode. Holy hell. Hey, look at that, Chris. Catching fish, man, you crazy. Catching that bass. What are you doing? This is, oh, this is why Umbrella wasn't taken down by brute force. Chris went fishing after he saved his sister. Uh, 12 minutes, 9 seconds. Ranking E. Is E good? I feel like E's bad. Probably because we use infinite ammo, huh? You probably only get A rankings if you uh, don't use infinite ammo. The fuck? I know, right? Wesker is available. <gasps> what? What? Wesker is available. All right. Just to end this, I think it would be good if we ended this by playing as Wesker. Oh, he comes with a knife. You know what? We're not going to play. <laughs> I'm not playing as Wesker. Uh, no way. There's no way. He just has a knife. So, of course, he has unlimited ammo, but he just has a knife. That's, we're not going to get anywhere with a knife. <laughs> Steve has the, the, the dual Lugers and the dual machine guns. And uh, Claire has the handgun, the crossbow. Wow, that's those are lame weapons for poor Claire. Maybe we can make exploding arrows. If she had an infinite of those, that would help out. I can't imagine trying to take down Alexia with those. The man, they gave Chris all the best. They really want you to play as Chris. Look at that. Shotgun Magnum. 
Wow. It's the Billy Cohen situation all over again. Um, LOL. Hold up. Uh, let me destroy the menace to our society and then go get this big-ass fish. Well, I mean, I guess him and Claire are off the reservation. They gotta eat. I think they're trying to lay low. I think Umbrella was trying to... I would watch me overthink this right now. Uh, Umbrella was trying to smear their names, like, their, you know, do a smear campaign on Chris to make any evidence he was able to dig up look false. Uh, and uh, that was kind of the, the story, and he, that's why he was in hiding. That's where Claire didn't know where he, was, where he was. And she tracked his last name location was somewhere in Europe. So she went to the Umbrella Paris facility, because that was like any major facility in Europe for Umbrella, was in Paris. And that's where she got caught and brought to the island. So yeah, I'm like overthinking the shit out of this. But it's like, oh, maybe they're just, you know, they're hanging out in a cabin somewhere with Barry and Jill and Leon. And not Leon, he went to work for the government, but... Um, and they're just off the reservations sharing war stories and catching fish. Love you, brother. Alright, homie, I'm gonna go get some shut-eye, but I'm glad I caught you just now. I'm glad you caught me too, man. You got me to play a bonus episode, and this was a lot of fun. So, Joe, after work, thank you. If anyone is watching this, if you enjoyed this, this is because of Joe. Um, so, thank you, Joe, for this. And uh, thank you for your 11-month subscription and being a good friend. You're awesome, dude. And uh, wherever you are out there, uh, uh, Grifter Games, Grifter Streams, sorry, Grifter Streams, wherever you are out there, dude, uh, thank you for your your donations and your uh, backing this channel. I really do appreciate it. Um, since I'm going to be on Twitch less, if you, I'm, I'm not expecting anyone to keep donating to me, but if you would rather donate $5 to my Patreon instead of here on Twitch, that's totally fine, because I'll probably be doing more Patreon videos than I will be doing Twitch videos, but I promise at least twice a month I will come on here and play a game. Uh, but that's all I can offer right now, just due to time and everything. Uh, but I will let those two times a month be known. I'll come up with a schedule, and I'll work everything out uh, throughout the month of June and find a good schedule that works best for me. Um, oh, you're welcome, Joe. Thank you, buddy. Uh, all right, and everyone watching later on YouTube, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this little bonus episode of Resident Evil Code Veronica Battle Mode with Chris Redfield. I'll see you all in the future. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?